is EY's stream. He's been making videos for seven days straight with no sleep. He really hopes that you love them. So like, subscribe, and hit the bell before today's video so he can finally take a nap. Please, guys, he's going crazy. <laughs>up guys ey stream back here with another minecraft video and today guys i'm gonna show you how you can make an actually working tool rack in minecraft to hang all your beautiful tools on the wall your swords your shovels your hoes your pickaxes and your axes not really sure why you would want to hang a hoe on the wall but whatever guys this looks absolutely awesome i'm gonna be showing you not only a really cool way to decorate your house but plus when your friends come over and they see your tools hanging on your wall, they're gonna be like, dang, that looks good. And you can be like, yeah, I know I learned from EY Stream, guys. So if you are excited to check out how you can hang tools on the wall using this awesome tool rack design. By the way, did I mention that there are no mods or add-ons at all used in this build, guys? It is a 100% vanilla Minecraft. So if you are excited, if you are hyped, guys, to check this out, make sure to drop a like down below. We're going for two thousand likes on today's video guys that would be absolutely insane of course guys if you are new to the channel this is your first time listening to my crazy crazy voice well then i hope you haven't clicked off the video yet so please don't leave me all right stick to the end of the video please please all right if you manage to stick through this long why don't you consider hitting the subscribe button and the little bell icon to ling ding ding so you never miss an upload guys now that bell icon is like when you go from okay status to legendary status so if you want to be a legend make sure to hit that bell but we're going to go ahead and get straight into today's video now first off we have to figure out where, where do we want to build this beautiful tool rack, guys, so you can hang your tools on the wall. Now, there's a lot of open space there, but I'm thinking that we go ahead and build it right up here on top of this cool little jungle thing, guys. I think that'll look really cool. So, first off, guys, obviously, you're most likely going to be putting your tool rack inside. Of course, it works outside, but generally, you're going to want to hang it on the wall. So, what I'm going to do real quick is build, like, a kind of makeshift wall. So, I'm going to use spruce wood planks. And I'm going to use, uh, I'm, I think I'm going to use cyan terracotta. Now, you can use whatever blocks you want, of course, guys, to design your house. But personally, I think these two look absolutely stunning together. So to do this, guys, I'm going to go ahead and build a wall out of cyan terracotta just like that, guys. And I'm going to go ahead. And now these walls need to be at least three high, guys. So make sure that if you're putting this inside your house, your house is at least three high blocks high if it's not it's probably not gonna work so i would recommend maybe make your house a little bigger now for the floor guys i am gonna go ahead and use these beautiful spruce wood planks if i can go ahead and dig all of this out just like that and uh i'll pretend i didn't break that wall guys that did not happen you did not see anything nothing at all so we'll go ahead and fill in all of this and voila, guys, we... Oh, I missed a block. There we go. And voila, guys, we have our very own makeshift wall. This is supposed to imitate the inside of your house. But of course, guys, you know, you might have a totally different interior. It doesn't matter, guys. The design for the wall and floor does not matter. But I just, I just think these look great together. So once you guys have that, you're going to need to start getting the things to build our tool racks. Now, first off, the things you are going to need are some name tags. That's right, guys. You'll understand why we need those very, very soon. You're going to need an anvil. Yep, that's right. You're also going to need some tripwire hooks, so we'll grab those. Now, the tripwire hooks, you can have as many as you want, guys, but those are to hold our tools in them. So as many tools as you want to put on the wall is as many tripwires you are going to need. And you are also going to need armor stands. Now, once you guys have that, we can go ahead and jump out. And you want to put the tripwire hooks where you obviously want the tools to be on the wall. So if we go ahead and put a tripwire hook. The idea is, guys, is we're going to slot a tool through that little hole in the tripwire, guys. And it's going to look dope. So make sure to stick around till the end to see that, guys. So we're going to go ahead. I think we're just going to do four tools, guys. So we'll go one, two, three, four, just like that. And I reckon the tools we're going to hang are going to be... We'll go with an iron sword. Oh, no. What, what am I doing? Iron? I'm not some iron person. We're going that diamond sword here. We'll go with an iron pickaxe, though, all right? We'll go with... Uh, no, uh, we'll go with a golden hoe because, you know, golden hoes are beautiful. So we're going to hang one of those in our wall. And we'll also go ahead and put a stone axe on the wall. So we've got our tools there, but we're not going to use them for a bit. So I'm going to just chuck them up there. Now, once you guys have done that, you want to go ahead and start placing your armor stands one block out from your uh, from your tripwire hook. So just like that, guys. And you want to make sure it's facing the left-hand direction. As you guys can see, this is the wall. You need to make sure that the armor stand is facing left, guys. All this is not going to work. So one block out and left. And you want to go ahead and put the same armor stand in front of each of the tripwire hooks, guys. So you're getting something that looks a little bit like this. If it doesn't look like this, well, then you probably did something wrong. So please, guys, make sure to pause the video and make sure you are doing this right now. Once you guys have done that, 
We're going to go ahead and na give names to all of these armor stands. So we'll go ahead and put our anvil down. Grab your uh, name tags here. Now, you can name these whatever you want, but personally, to make this really easy for you guys, because the names are actually going to be important very, very soon, I would go ahead and name one name tag A. All right, just like that, guys. Then I would go ahead. I'm just going to get rid of that. Uh, we don't need that. We're going to name our second name tag B, guys. And then we'll go ahead, we'll name our third name tag C. So let's do that. And then finally, guys, we are going to name our name tag D, just like that. Now, the reason why we've got four name tags and they're all named A, B, C, D is one, because I can do the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E. Okay, no, that's not the real reason. The real reason is because we have four armor stands. Now, if you have five armor stands, you're going to need five name tags and you would call the fifth one E. And if you only have two, you only need A and B, guys. But because we are doing four, we are going to need uh, four, uh, uh, four name tags. But of course, the um, as many as you want, guys, you can go ahead and just adding name tags and armor stands. So once you guys have done that, we're going to go ahead and name each of these beautiful armor stands. So we'll go ahead and name this guy A. Hello, Mr. A. How are you doing? We're going to name this guy B, this guy C, and this guy D. And once again, guys, if you want to go ahead and add more, you can. You just got to keep using letters of the alphabet. Now... This is the relatively simple part of the build. We're starting to get a little bit complicated, so make sure to buckle on. And hang on, guys. Things are getting to get a little bit confusing, so I'm sorry. I'll try and make this as simple as possible. Now, underneath that triple Y hook, guys, you're going to need to go one, two, three down, just like that, and do the same thing on each of the triple Y hooks, just like this. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Uh, was that three? Was that three? That was three. All right, for a minute, I thought I dug four there. So we've got three, ho uh, three down on underneath each of our triple Y hooks. Once you guys have done that, we are going to need some beautiful command blocks. Now, if you guys don't know how to get these, it's super simple. It is just slash give, up oh, slash give, at P, command block. Just like that, guys. And then space one, and then hit enter. And voila, guys. Check it out. We have one of the beautiful command blocks. We're going to go ahead, and in our little hole here, we're going to place one at the very bottom. Now, inside of this command block, you want to open it up. Switch the block type over to repeat. Go from redstone to always active, guys. And the command you're going to want to put in is quite a long one, so just prepare yourself, guys. It is TP at E, big bracket, and then you want to go name equals, all right, name equals. And then you want to go ahead and put in the name of whichever armor stand is next to this command block. So in this case, guys, our armor stand is name A. So we'll go ahead and do name equals A. N bracket, once you guys have done that, you want to go tilde, then 0.25 space tilde, and you want to go 2.5, then you want to go space tilde, negative 0.55, just like that, guys. Now, once you go ahead and leave the command block, voila, you will notice that the armor stand actually teleports somewhere between these two blocks. And if it's done this, you know you've done it right. If it doesn't move, then you've done something wrong and you might want to check the command block. Here it is again, guys. You can go ahead, pause the video and take a screenshot now if you want to get this in your very own Minecraft world, guys. And you also may notice in the top left-hand corner, we have a ton of text, guys, saying teleported A to these coordinates. Now, that is very annoying and you don't want that there. So to get rid of that, guys, you want to go ahead and do slash game rule and you want to do command block output just like that, guys, and then false hit enter and as you guys can see give it a few seconds it is going to disappear and that you know annoying text in the left hand corner is going to stop appearing and you won't have to deal with that now once you guys have done that uh, as you can see as i mentioned earlier it is teleported between the two blocks that is going to be crucial for later so that is why we have to do that now we have to go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other three armor stands so go ahead place the command block in here guys and then you want to go repeat Always active, and then we'll go TP at E, name equals. Now, this one is B, so we'll go B. Then we'll go 0 0.25. Oh, I did that wrong. Tilde, 0 0.25. Tilde, uh, 2.5. Tilde, negative 0 0.55. Go ahead and leave that. And there we go, guys. B has teleported into the right position. As you can see, they're all kind of the same distance away from the tripwire hook, and this is going to be key, guys. So make sure to stick around to see why we are doing this. Then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for our C command block. Repeat. Always active, TP at E, name equals C, and brackets, tilde, uh, 0. Point, I believe it is 25, tilde, 2.5, oh, 2.5, tilde, and then negative, ne negative, 0. 0.55, there we go, guys, leave that, and voila, guys, C is in position, and finally, guys, our final armor stand, go ahead, repeat, always active, and then go TP, um, at a bracket name equals D this time guys make sure you are changing the name by the way Then you want to go space tilde 0.25 space tilde 
Uh, zero, nope. Space, 2.5. There we go, guys. I'm getting the numbers confused. I'm sorry. And then space, tilde, negative 0 0.55. And then leave it. And voila, guys. All our armor stands are now in place. Now, once we've done that, guys, we want to go ahead and give each of the armor stands the tool we want to hang inside our tripwire hook. So now we can go ahead and grab our tools from earlier, guys. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is we're going to give A an iron pickaxe here, guys. We're going to give B a diamond sword. We'll give C our beautiful golden hoe, which isn't that beautiful, but whatever. It'll, it'll look cool, guys. And we're going to give D our boring old stone axe. Now, once you guys have done that, you need to change the position of the armor stand. So go ahead and either long click on a device or shift click if you guys are on Windows 10 edition. And you want to go ahead and change the armor stand. Keep going until it reaches that, that post. This is the one you want to want. The one that looks kind of like a zombie that's like, ah, that one. That's the pose you guys are looking for. And as you can see, the pickaxe goes through the hole of the tripwire hook. And that is what's going to allow this uh, item tool rack to actually work, guys, and look realistic. So guys, once again, we'll do that for B as well. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is nine clicks, guys, to get to the zombie looking pose. And that's the one you're gonna wanna use. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, bang. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we are done, guys. All the armor stands are perfectly in position. And as you can see, all the tools are inside our tripwire hooks. Now, at this stage, you're probably thinking like, okay, this looks okay. But um, they don't really look like legit tool racks because you can see the armor stands and they're very, very annoying. Now, I understand this, guys. And that's why I have a solution to go ahead and get rid of the armor stands so you will only see the tools just like in the video thumbnail, guys. So what you're going to need to do this is you may notice we dug three holes down, which is perfect to fit one more command block right there. So we're going to place one command block here, guys. And here you want to go repeat, always active. And then for this one, guys, you want to go effect space at E bracket name equals. And then you want to put the name of the command, uh, the armor stand that is next to the command block. So in this case, guys, it is A. So we're going to go ahead name equals A and brackets. And you want to go invisibility. Invis invisibility at one space one and then that is what you're going to need to do oh forgot one thing make sure to do space true and put true on the end of that command guys now when you go ahead and leave boom boom the other stand is gone and check it out guys we actually have a working tool rack in minecraft look at that the pickaxe is actually going through the hole of the tripwire hook and it looks legit it looks awesome and this is a great decoration for pretty much any build at all guys i I really love it, and I gotta say, looks lit, guys. Doesn't that look awesome, and your friends will be pretty impressed. So we go ahead, and then you can get your spruce wood or whatever you're using for your floor, guys, and cover up the command blocks. And now it just looks like an awesome decoration. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing for the final three, and we'll see what this great wall looks like once we're done, guys, and you get to see what a full set of tools look like hanging on the wall. It looks really, really cool. Just, just putting that out there, I think it looks pretty cool. So we go ahead and do this one, guys. So we go ahead, repeat, always active. Effect uh, at E, name, this one is B, guys, so name equals B, invisibility, invisi invisibility, why is invisibility such a hard word to spell, one, space one, space true, just like that, go ahead and leave, we can go ahead and cover that up, that's what the diamond sword looks, guys, this is personally my favourite, not gonna lie, that looks really, really cool, we'll go ahead and do our hoe, guys, so we'll go ahead and place command block here, guys, repeat, Always active. Then we'll go effect at E bracket name equals this one is C, I believe, and bracket. And then you want to go invisibility one space one space true. Go ahead, leave that, close this up. And there is our beautiful golden hoe. Doesn't look as cool as the pickaxe or sword, but then again, it's a golden hoe. Can you get a much better tool than that, guys? Just kidding. It's a pretty lame tool. But whatever, guys, let's go ahead and do our final one the axe, guys. So we'll put an armor stand, uh, put a, not an armor stand, we'll put the command block there, repeat. Always active, effect, uh, at E, name equals invisibility. Wait, what? No, no, the name is not invisibility, the name is D. As you can see, guys, we're getting near the end of the video and I'm already cooking myself, I can't even remember the command. So it's name equals D and then invisibility, one space, one space, true, go ahead and leave. And voila, guys, we are done our beautiful tool rack. Well, does that not look 
absolutely lit. It looks super, super cool. And of course, guys, when you are making this for yourself, you can put the triple wire hooks right next to each other if you want to. You can put them as far apart as you want. You can put them on the walls anywhere you like. It doesn't have to be in these exact positions, guys. It's totally up to you to go ahead and customize. And, you know, they look absolutely great as a decoration or just to show off to your friends. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video checking out these really cool working uh, uh, tool, tool racks, armor stands, tool holders, whatever you want to call them, guys. Anyway, make sure to subscribe for more tutorials just like this and hit the little bell icon. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, guys. Anyway, it's Bye.